All right, some breaking news coming in at this moment. Actor Salman Khan has reached the Jodhpur court. Remember, it's a crucial day as far as Salman Khan is concerned uh, in the Black Buck case. Jodhpur, uh, he has in fact uh, used, uh, he has in fact reached Jodhpur. Now, it's an important day. Uh, we'll try going across to uh, our associate editor of India today, Rohit, for all the latest details. Rohit is with us. Morning, Rohit, can you hear me? Yes, Rohit, uh, uh, this is uh, headlines today. Uh, just Can you just take us through what really to expect through the course of the day? Salman Khan has reached uh, the Jodhpur court. Yeah, Salman Khan has reached from Shirinagar. And uh, he was summoned to appear before the CGM court today uh, so that, you know, he could uh, mark his attendance. And uh, he was to be told uh, the eyewitness statements. However, we do not expect much happening at the court as of now because the court record has been summoned by the Sessions Court and they have listed a decision on his appeal on 1st of May. That's right. Uh, uh, Rohit, uh, if you could just take us through, uh, you know, the court proceedings so far as far as this case is concerned. And uh, you clearly mentioned that there was, uh, the court had actually directed a personal appearance today and that is why Salman Khan is present there. Absolutely. On 23rd, he was supposed to appear, but he didn't appear, claiming that he was not well. However, he was, uh, look, uh, uh, various media carried his photographs shooting uh, somewhere else on that day. Hmm. So th that is why the court uh, ensured that, uh, called him for a personal appearance today. And court may ask for certain explanation about that also. Uh, that why he skipped the hearing on 23rd, claiming that he's not well and still he uh, appeared in a shooting. Now, uh, this, this Rohit, uh, if you could just for the benefit of our viewers, tell us uh, what really is this case all about. I believe this is the Arms Act case, where a case has been made uh, by, uh, you know, the case has been made that uh, he actually shot with an expired license gun. Yeah, one is of expired license gun, another, another uh, is about that whether he had a license at all. Hmm. Uh, this all goes to uh, 1998, uh, the Black Buck and Chinkara killing case. Yes. Uh, in Jodhpur, where he was there to shoot for Ham Saath Saath Hain. So this is a very, very long case uh, regarding the Wildlife Preser uh, Conservation Act. And uh, uh, the, the issue was that from where the, license, uh, the guns which were used to kill uh, for the hunting were, uh, came. So one of the guns was with him and there was no license. The issue was that whether he held a license, whether it was an expired license, whether it was totally illegal license, uh, 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 those are the all issues which came under this Arms Act. Absolutely. Is, Absolutely. Rohit, uh, you were very briefly mentioning this point that uh, the, in the last hearing, his yeah. lawyer apparently told the court that he will be unavailable due to certain health reasons. Perhaps uh, uh, the specifics that we are learning, uh, the yeah. lawyer actually said that he has an ear ache and that's why he cannot uh, undertake air travel to be in Jodhpur. Uh, mm -hmm. However, then news reports came that he was actually in uh, uh, Kashmir to shoot for a movie. Yeah, uh, that is true that he was uh, uh, on medical ground, he sought exemption. But uh, this is a very tricky kind of case build up. They, they can say, ki, okay, on those days he had uh, earache, so he couldn't take a flight. But now he's all right. And he was stationed in Srinagar. He was not allowed to take a flight around those days. Uh, we know that lawyers can put different kind of arguments to justify Absolutely. absence. Absolutely. Absolutely. Rohit uh, Parihar, thank you very much for joining us with all the latest. We'll, of course, keep coming back to you as and when there are more developments from Jodhpur. Salman Khan reaches the Jodhpur court.